Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. I should learn lessons and remember things. Last year at the Wessex Society AGM, I took a, took a plant in. And they don't do the points competition tables, tables at the AGM. And I did it again this year. So I took my Friedrich C. Anamin, hoping for success and all this, that and the other. And it nearly didn't make it. I had some idiot pulled out um, from a, you know, give way junction basically, it's all in the name, you know, give way to the dual carriageway, just pulled out in front of me and I had to jam on the brakes and this just flew off the back seat onto the floor, unnoticed by me and sat on the floor till I got there. Um, no damage, not one bloom knocked off and none of the new growths damaged, so uh, luckily. But then I got there and of course there's no competition table so I didn't need to have bothered. But lots of people came up and said it was a lovely plant and blah 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 blah. <clears throat> and something else I forgot at the AGM, it's followed by the plant auction. And loads of members bring in plants and they're all carefully numbered up and you know forms to fill in and all that sort of stuff. And I thought well I don't need any more orchids. And um, I was chatting to the chairman Lynn and um, she's a brilliant Master Valia and Dracula grower basically, well cool stuff anyway, but mainly those sorts of things. She's, she's got lots of other things in, dotted in there as well, including some cooler growing dendrobiums, but that's her main thing. And um, she said, you ought to come over and have a look at this. This is difficult to get hold of and I've just split mine into two. And um, it's in the auction if you're interested. Now I wasn't, you know me, I'm not planning on buying any more orchids. So yet again, this is me not buying orchids. But it was recommended. Now it's got a bloom on it that's going over. Uh, that's what the bloom looks like when it's going over. So I think when that's uh, freshly opened, that's going to be quite spectacular. And if you're thinking it's a Mazda Valia, just have a close look at the inside there. Something not quite right about it. And that's because it's a Dracuvalia. <laughs> so it's a hybrid between a Dracula and a Mazda Valia. And I think the next time that blooms, that's going to be pretty special. So uh, nice colours, you know me, I like my oranges and looks like it's got nice patterning on it. But the bloom's about to drop off, so I thought I'd film it tonight in case I get up in the morning and it's on the floor. Um, it's a nice plant, it hasn't long been repotted, um, it was a division, it's got, it's got a lovely new growth coming up here. Um, so yeah, I'm sort of quite pleased with that. There's a broken leaf there or a damaged one, but um, it's not a bad plant, not a bad plant at all and difficult to get hold of and it's Dracuvalia a letter page and um, originally that was from Equigenera I believe looking at the label yeah so uh, it's done some travels in its time <laughs> anyway so I got a new a new plant and being a Dracuvalia the blooms come out the top of the plant so it can stay in that pot now it's not long been in there I think it was What's it say on the label? I think it says it was repotted in, yeah, it was repotted in April 2019. So that's got a good year or more in there. Relatively heavy on the moss, so probably about a year before I need to think about it. So um, it's going to have to acclimatise now, which it, it may stall for a while, um, because Lynn grows cool, and when she grows cool, she means it. Yeah, she's got like a shaded house that doesn't get sun. It never warms up. Uh, I think it's like a concrete building, basically, so it permanently stays cool, which is brilliant for these sorts of things. But this one's going to have to acclimatise to my heat, so it may stall for a while. But um, the telltale sign will be the new growth. You know, if that pushes on and opens a nice clean leaf without any distortions, then it's putting up with the heat and can cope with it due to the high humidity level. But anyway, so we have a new plant. Um, very attractive. I think that's going to be quite a little showstopper when that gets going and decides to push up another spike, which may be some time. You know, it could take a while. Hasn't long been repotted, so it will be establishing a root system. I don't even know if it had a very good root system, but being one of Lynn's plants that she's had quite a while, 
and it's a relatively recent division, it should have roots. I'm not going to take it out of the pot and check. I'm, I'm going to do my trusting thing, which doesn't happen often. <laughs> but when it's people you know, and you know the standard at which they grow, uh, you, you can live with it. So anyway, this is me not buying plants, and I bid on it in the auction. It had a reserve on it, I think, £10, which is ridiculous price for a plant like that. <clears throat> In a nursery, that would be 25, 30 quid at least, especially with a bloom on it. Um, anyway, somebody bid, and then somebody bid, and somebody bid. And it, it got up to 15, and I thought, I'm only going to buy one plant. So I bid 16, somebody bid 17, so I bid 20, and everybody shut up. <laughs> so I got it for 20, <laughs> which I'm happy to pay. You know, I mean, 10% of that goes to the society anyway. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a fair price for a plant that's not easy to get hold of. Um, so, uh, yeah, one new plant. And um, the society, and rumours are that my other society, Bournemouth, are really struggling for plants for the Malvern Show. Desperately struggling. Um, quite a few of the really good growers that normally supply a good amount of plants have said they've got nothing. Um, which is just incredibly unusual. So I'm going to rethink what goes to Bournemouth. I'll have to take my plants on Wednesday, whatever's going to go. Um, so uh, I think this one, may, this one may, may go, yeah? On the grounds that these blooms can stick up out the top of the display and look quite nice, yeah? So I think that one can go. <coughs> uh, I might even take the Coneco. On the grounds it's a plant with blooms on. You know, so uh, that one might go. Obviously, the Friedrichsianum will go. I might even let my sweet memory go because if they can hide the plant in amongst the other plants, the spike's quite good. You know, so may, I'll have to rethink and take as much as I can. I think, um, but that's about it. I really haven't got that much else that can go to a show anyway. You know, I mean, Tolumnia with two blooms on is no good. You know, that's no good to anybody. Um, this one. It's got two spikes, um, but this one's starting to go now. Well, okay, the couple of oldest blooms could be just snipped off. That leaves the current ones and some still to open. So that one wouldn't be bad. This spike opened probably three or four days later, so I don't know whether that would last till next weekend. But I think that might be able to go as well. So. Uh, it might look a bit thin in here for a while. I remember doing that once before. I took most of my plants in bloom to a show, and when I got home after delivering them, I thought, oh, all I've got left is green stuff. <laughs> but that's how it goes. If you're going to support your societies, then, you know, you, you need to join in. You, you, you do your bit, if you know what I mean. The Catlia can go, because even though there's only two blooms open, I think by the time I get to, oh, the third one's just opening now, and I think by the time we get to, um, what will it be? It'll be first thing Friday morning the judging will take place for the displays. By then I should have another one or two buds open, I would hope. So I'll let them have that one as well. But it's going to leave it a bit bare looking in here. But then I'm not here. <laughs> the beauty of it is I'm at Malvern as well, in amongst all the orchids. So, um, you know, uh, that, that, that's how it'll be. And then I'll go and pick my plants up on Monday um, when I get back from Malvern and settle down, I'll go and pick my plants up and settle them back in here again. So, uh, anyway, <clears throat> me not buying orchids has resulted in um, something a little bit unusual, a Draculavalia. That's two I've got now, actually. I've, I've actually got a Dracula Mazdavalia cross already, although that one's never bloomed for me. Um, this one may take a while to bloom again, quite honestly. It's, got, it, it's still settling into its pot. It's now got to acclimatise to a new atmosphere. And, um, you know, we'll see. Maybe it'll push a spike up, you know, once we get to the cooler weather in the autumn. We shall see. So, uh, anyway, um, I'll see you tomorrow for my Sunday morning chat. Um, topic as yet to be decided, because, quite honestly, I haven't even given it a thought yet. But I'll think of something. We'll have a chat about something. Um, and I'll come up with something tomorrow. So uh, see you then. Thanks for dropping by. 
And the other thing I forgot to say, I got nominated and seconded and got elected onto the committee, so I'm now a committee member on the um, Wessex Orchid Society. Just an ordinary member, so I'm not quite sure what I've got to do apart from turn up for the uh, committee meetings. But it suits me. Um, if, it, if it was a big deal, I wouldn't have done it. I'd have said no. But the meetings are on Saturday, um, the actual Orchid Society meetings, and the committee meetings precede those meetings. So I've got to do the journey anyway. They're in the same building, and they're on a Saturday afternoon. So all I've got to do is turn up an hour earlier than normal. It really is no big deal at all. And um, I might try and wangle my way onto the uh, show committee, which is where I'd like to be. You know, actually um, looking at design, colour combinations, plant combinations, actually setting up displays. Um, I have an artistic nature, believe it or not. <laughs> anyway, that remains to be seen. So at the moment, just an ordinary committee member, um, because somebody stepped down in a specific post, an ordinary committee member then got nominated and took that post, leaving an ordinary member vacancy. So I grabbed that. Um, the chairman nominated me, said, Oi, do you want to be on the committee? Ooh, OK. <laughs> so that's done. Um, and with this Orchid Society, as I said, it's quite convenient for me to attend those committee meetings. Um, I've just got to leave a bit earlier. But I mean, you know, the, the, the normal meeting is, you know, it's, it's like 2 o'clock for 2.30, so I'll have to get there for 1 o'clock. It really is no big deal. So uh, looking forward to that. That should be fun. Put some new ideas in and uh, get a new brain into the functioning um, that's not stuck in the old days and the ancient world and all that sort of stuff, you know. <laughs> Drag them into the 21st century. No, this, this lot at Wessex aren't bad. Um, they, they, they don't do bad on Facebook and you know they, they are slowly but surely getting into the modern you know um, social media side of running an orchid society there's quite a few of them don't do any of that but um, anyway we shall see how it goes I'll let you know bye for now